So, I would like to talk to you about the issues, well, mainly one, maybe two, issues that I have with the Insta360 Go cameras. And uh, it's not going to affect everybody, but I pick up a lot of trash off the beaches. I use these things all the time. And the problem was such a big one that I ended up designing components to fix it. So let me get into it. So for those who don't know, this is an Insta360 Go 2. This is an Insta360 Go 3. They are just very compact action cameras. With that compactness, they have limited battery life. The Go 2 was 30 minutes. The Go 3, I think, is 45. But let's get into the issues. So first problem that I have with these, and with this one here, it's... Well, then, like I say, it's overly bad, but it's still there. Is if you go to remove this camera, you have to grab it with your fingertips, and I understand that that may not be an issue for a lot of people. I normally have fingernails, so it's not a problem for me at all. But people that have like numbness in their fingers or something like that, that might be a big, a big problem. The other thing, and the one that I'm particularly interested in is the lack of a rear indicator. See, on the Go 2, the camera would vibrate. So when you turn the camera on, it would vibrate once or twice. When you turn it off, it would vibrate twice for the quick action. And that's great. But when you have it on, there's nothing to indicate to you that it's running. So say you're doing an activity, and you're talking to the people, and you forget that it's on and you run the battery down. I mean, the battery is already limited to, well, 30, 45 minutes, you know, realistically less than that. Now, Insta360 did make hat mounts for these things, and this is a whole separate deal here as well. This is the one for the Go 3 and the Go 2. They're, they're nearly identical with some, some uh, much needed changes on the one for the Go 3. But this hat mount is made to mount on the back of the hat just like so it's a bit of a pain to get on there sometimes all right so the idea being that you have it right there so if you want to make like an FPV video or something like that where where your you're hiking, you're running, you're, you're cooking something, you're trying to explain how to work on a vehicle, or anything of that nature, you can take this hat mount, you can take your, your uh, Insta360, in this case, the Go 3, and mount it right here. The problem, though, is still there. There's no indicator visually for me that this thing is running. Now, whenever I turn it on, in this case, this camera makes an audio sound, say, okay, I think it's one sound or one beep if it's a quick capture video to when you start and then two beeps when it stops and that's great but what if I'm doing something what if I'm with a group of people and I see something cool that I want to capture real quick and I'm talking to someone at the same time or I'm working on a vehicle and I have another guy come up to me with a different question and I forget that it's running well that battery life is only 45 minutes on this camera and there's just nothing there to say, hey, it's still running. Insta360, I think that they should at least put maybe like an audio beep or something every 5 or 10 seconds to say, hey, it's running. I realize that that may cause issues with the, the sound, but that's a problem. And this camera mount also doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Now, <clears throat> these cameras are very compact. But with that compactness comes limitations, and particularly low-light limitations. So I am willing to bet you that the majority of the people that are using this camera, that are out there actually putting this thing to use, are using it in the day. At which point, I would wonder, why would you make this hat mount on the back of the hat when clearly, if you put it on the front of the hat, you could have it, you know, for keeping the sun out of your eyes. Now you can take this thing and stick it on the front of the hat. I mean, that's definitely 
possibility. It will go there, and you can take the go, whatever your camera is, the go three or the go two, and put it in there. Quick capture to start recording a video. But the problem is still there. There's no visual indicator that says, hey, this thing is recording. On a GoPro, you have indicating lights on the front and the back. So whatever you have it mounted on, you know that it's running. But on this thing, there's nothing. There's nothing there that says, hey, this camera is running. And that's a problem. So let me show you what I did to fix it. See? Nothing. Let me show you what I did to fix it on first the Go 2, and then on the updated, the Go 3. So on the Go 2, <clears throat> because it goes in that case so tight, first off, whatever you use to mount on there has to come off. Now, these cameras have little magnets in the back, so you can make accessories. In fact, Insta, Insta, Insta360 actually provided the CAD files for the Go 2. They haven't done that for the 3 yet, and it may be a while before they do. I end up having to draw my own. So, on this one, we made a little mount that holds the camera, nice and neat. And then later on, we needed that rear, that rear indicator. So, what we did is we took some fiber optic line. You can see it in here, maybe. And there's a little piece of fiber optic line that runs right up through the middle so that on this particular camera, whenever you turn it on to say that it's recording, you have an indicator light right here. And you can easily see this in your peripheral vision as you're using the camera. So you don't ever have to worry about the thing running and running that battery all the way down, which is really, really irritating when you're doing something. In my case, picking up trash off the beaches and making lots of little short clips and then suddenly the battery is dead and on this camera here whenever the battery dies you have to stick it back in the case and basically you don't have it so I was carrying two of these around for that same purpose and the case here everything is nice and slim so you can't really make it where it sticks on the camera itself as far as mounting it goes I made this little mount right here the mount goes on there just like so and then you can take this part and you have a, instead of having a horizontal mount where you can't see anything, you have a vertical mount where you have the, the actual button for the camera right here on the bottom. So you can click it and then you can see very clearly, hey, this camera is running and, and you need to be aware of that. You don't want to run that battery all the way down. So that was the Go 2. The Go 3 was actually a little bit easier and far more compact so on the go 3 because this camera mounts in this case open like this which first off I am NOT a fan of this this thing is not protected by anything but because it's open like that then you can make whatever you want to use for indicating here on the top and this what we did here is I made this little plate this plate goes on just like so and then it gives you the same indications here let me put it on there real quick Now, so this thing stays on the front like so. I also made a little guard that goes over it to help give you some protection on that lens there. So, you know, might save you some bit of damage. But the important part is this. You have a indicator right here on the back that shows you that this camera is in operation. <laughs> now, one of the nice little things about this is that because it is on the outside of the case and is always on there the issue that you have where you have to use your fingernails or the tips of your fingers to remove the camera you can help alleviate allevi you can help with that <laughs> so what I did is I have a little tab here on the top so now whenever I go to remove this camera I unlock it with the button on the back and I just pull it out easy put it back in no big deal now one of the problems on these go to so at least on the go to was they had an overheating issue and this camera is meant to run a lot longer so they had to do better uh, better heat control you know I know I'm using the wrong terminology for that but basically they had to deal with the heating a lot better and inside here I don't know if you can see it probably not there's little veins and they put the same pattern on the back of the camera 
So what I ended up doing for the hat mount for this camera here is we made this piece. This is made of PETG and it has the same pattern on the inside here. So what you do is you put this on your hat just like the other one. Just like that right there. It just hangs there and I, without the camera I can barely see this. And then the camera goes on and locks in place using those little notches from the heat controls that are on, well, from the, I know I'm using the wrong, but whatever the little veins are on the inside, the little metal grid here to help control heat. Anyway, they have that on the same plastic piece. So now, this is mounted on my hat in a vertical position. I still have cover for my eyes, and when I turn it on, I have a very clear visual indicator that it's running. It's very obvious. And if you're, let me see if I can put the camera about the right spot. So if you're wearing it, it's right there. Clear as day, you know the camera is running, and you don't have to worry about running that battery down, and then whenever you get through recording, you just turn it off again. This, they should make either a side indicator. If, if I was Insta360, and I know, I know that they have other priorities with this camera, because it's, it's made for real compact stuff, but I would at least put some kind of LED or maybe just something on the bottom where it comes out, the light comes off either side. That way people can do stuff like this. I would also strongly consider making a mount that goes on the front of the hat as opposed to the back of the hat. Now I've made several of these. Some have been adjustable for say people that had flatter bills, but this is the one I stuck with so I more or less ruled the other ones out. This is just, this just makes so much sense, and I just, I don't understand, I don't understand, well, I'll take that back, I, I do understand why they wouldn't do it, and money, money is always the driving goal behind everything, but if you want that camera to be used for activities where people are doing stuff, well then you need some kind of indicator that says it's still running, because once you run the battery down, on this one it's really nice, once you run the battery down you can pull it out, stick it on here, and in my case I've got a mount over here on my Camelback where I can have it right here and I can use voice commands while it charges back up. But that's not an option for a lot of people. Anyway, this is what I did. I hope this helps you guys out. Um, what does it people say at the end of these videos? Uh, if you like this video and the stuff that I do, please subscribe to it. It really helps me out. I mean, obviously with the beach cleaning and maintaining those rigs, or in this case, this project had a lot of prototypes to get it to this point. So, yeah, it, uh, it is what it is, and I ho sure hope this helps some of you guys out.